first stage of a rehearsal, we did training um, because it's a physical performance and uh, it's, it's set in a military setting. So, you know, we, we really wanted to establish that, you know, the, the soldier's body and also the atmosphere of a boot camp. So in order to make it really believable, um, we train in together. Um, and so it, it was kind of like a, a very quick boot camp version of the pedagogical, um, you know, physical acting of a Japanese theater that we did. So that was the first, um, first stage. So that, that was in, in order to establish the, the atmosphere of the play, we incorporated Japanese phys physical theater performance. And then the second stage, um, that training slowly transition into kind of imp um, improvisation and also experimentation. And so that, that was some, somehow incorporated, so the physical acting and also improvisation. And you know, we, we use some of these experiment, experimental scenes into the performance. So that's, that's kind of like the East and West met together and then um, incorporated into um, the performance. That was a devising part that, that was um, Japanese uh, theater incorporated. This production, not necessarily, we are actually going against it uh, because you know the entire performance uh, atmosphere is a boot camp and so um, heavy makeup <laughs> Japanese uh, kabuki type of makeup doesn't make sense they're in a military costume and uh, really minimal actually uh, so soldiers and then um, sometimes um, they one character um, one actor shift from one character to another, they just wear um, a jacket and to represent another character. So it's really uh, more of a simple and minimal kind of um, approach, more representational. So, and, and we don't have puppetry, unfortunately. So it's, it's a little <laughs> bit different approach. It's more immersive um, and uh, ex yeah, ex our audience experience this event as, as, as opposed to on theater performance. Uh, the decision was made because um, it's, a, it's a really psychological play. And uh, the play itself, the structure of the play itself is, is based on the, the psychological um, state of the, the character, the protagonist, Wojciech. So um, this experience of, um, of a protagonist is, uh, is something that I really want an audience to, to experience, um, each, each individual to experience as, as a character. So um, you know, if, they, if they sit and then just watch, you know, they, they probably don't um, experience as a, as a character. But you know, if they become part of the soldiers and witness, they kind of go through the psychological journey um, that way. So that's, that's uh, the main choice, um, that um, the scenes take place in multiple areas in a, in a theater one and audience, audience um, shift the perspective that um, kind of relates to um, the structure of the play. This performance, we have a special lighting designer. That was a really great collaboration process actually that Simon, um, First, when, when we met, he had a design concept and also three rendering um, images. The idea of hanging lights was there, but then um, it, was, it was a concept, but, but then um, as a director, I started to ask how to use it. So is it possible to swing it? And, and also, um, can I add a bulb and make it you know, movable? So you know the design is one thing, but then you know how to um, 
instigate how um, the, the functionality of the design was something that came out from uh, the director's point of view. So it was a really good collaboration that, um, you know, the design visual element and also how to use it uh, merged very well. So that's, that's this production. And Kojiki was actually, um, I designed um, the, the costume and also lighting as well. So that, that, was, that was not necessarily a collaboration, right? So it's, it's just on, only from myself. So, and uh, so these are two different kind of uh, way of making design. And I really appreciate actually this collaboration. Um, and, and so you have two people's mind and then, you know, now you have you know, the, the third stage of um, the design as a result, which is, which is wonderful. I think um, all the performance pieces that I made somehow connect to each other, but each time it's always different. So you know, it's it's hard to hard to say that you know. For instance, you know, any kind of artist, you know, if you take a look at the chronological order of uh, of the artist, one artist, you see s some similarity, but there there's also progression and also changes too. So I, I think um, the historical, um, the collection of my works, I think it works that way too. Mm. So um, people notice that, yes, stylistically, you know, there is this one um, consistent, line, consistent line, but then, you know, as an artist also, I would like to try completely new thing, you know, to challenge myself too. So, um, so you, you see Wojtek, you see both sides of that consistent kind of link from, um, from the past work and also this is completely new because, um, because of this idea of uh, using one space but shifting the performance space. An audience just standing around, around you and uh, and you know you cannot predict each night what is going to happen with the audience. So that's that's some challenges, and also I, I think it would be a really interesting part. <laughs>